Hey guys, I am Katie or KB Does Piano and um, hopefully you guys just had a lesson covering um, somewhere between pages 32 and 41. Um, so first thing you're going to learn on page 32 is a dotted half note. So if you watched my other um, lesson, you saw that we learned quarter note, then half note, and then whole note. And so now we're learning the dotted half note. So just picture it like a half note, which gets two beats, plus a dot, which is one. So therefore the dotted half note gets three beats. So you're gonna play it like this. One, two, three. That's it. So we've got two um, songs on page 32 and 33 to help reinforce that. And then the very next thing that you're going to learn is actually um, one of the most important topics to get down in piano, and that is how to read sheet music, which is extremely important. So this lesson is gonna be huge for you guys to reinforce, um, because if you can't do this, then you really can't do a whole lot on piano. Okay, so first thing we need to talk about is the staff. As you can see on page 34, the staff consists of five lines in four spaces. And so we're gonna categorize our notes in order for us to make it a bit easier to memorize by going by those lines and those spaces. So just one of them is called a staff. And then when you stack two on top of each other, it's called a grand staff. And so like other instruments will just have one staff, but since we are actually able to play two, um, we'll, you'll read the grand staff basically. So on, um, the top line will be our right hand because it plays at the top of the piano. And on the bottom is our left hand because it plays at the bottom of the piano. And then um, you can see that your right hand plays what we call treble clef. And so just remember treble clef is top. Treble clef is on the top of the piano. And then bass clef is our left hand and bass clef is on the bottom of the piano. So treble clef is from middle C up basically and then bass clef is from middle C down. So if you just remember top, bottom, treble, bass, you'll get them down. So next thing we're gonna talk about is acronyms that help us memorize um, the notes on the staff because we're gonna be reading individual notes on the grand staff and then playing them on the piano. So first let's just start off with treble clef, so right hand, line notes. So there are five lines on a staff, right? So the acronym we're gonna use for treble clef line notes is elephants go bouncing down freeways. That's just a little jingle that I teach my kids um, and my students whenever they're struggling on learning those acronyms. So if you just remember elephants, E, go, G, bouncing, B, down, D, freeways, F. Um, the E is the one right after middle C basically. So it's in that octave. So if you just remember that that's where it is on the piano, that bottom line is um, in the middle C area. And then let's do space notes. So treble class space notes is really easy because it spells out a word and that word is face. So if you spell that out, it's F-A-C-E, super easy. Whenever you're using those acronyms, you wanna always start at the bottom and then work your way up the staff, not going from the top to the bottom. So that's the treble clef, line notes, and space note acronyms in order to help you memorize those. Now let's go ahead and do the bass clef. So um, the bass clef line notes is good, boys, deserve, fudge, always. And that G is pretty low on the piano where it starts. It starts um, almost two octaves lower than a middle C. So um, you wanna start pretty low on the piano because when you land on the A, good boys deserve fudge always, that A is a skip down from middle C. So it's pretty high. So basically just remember that when bass clef is higher on the staff, it's closer to middle C. And when treble clef is lower on their staff, it's closer to middle C. So they're like opposites. So the closer you get to the middle of the staff or the middle of the, the page basically, um, that is middle C. Um, okay, so let's do um, bass class space notes. That is all cows eat grass. Now, of course, there are a ton of different um, acronyms that you can use to memorize notes on the grand staff. Those are just the four that I use, and that's generally what I teach my students. Um, but if you were taught something else, use that one. Use whatever works for you to memorize it. 
Um, okay, so that basically covers everything on page um, 35. So all you need to basically do now is go through and practice reading a ton. So if you turn the page, you learn middle C. So as I mentioned before, middle C is in the middle of the staff. So it's got one line through it, um, no matter if you're in treble clef or bass clef. So when it's written on the top, so on the top line, that means your right hand's playing it. And then um, when it's written on the bottom of the staff, that means your left hand is playing it. So in this song, your hand's just gonna be switching between um, you know, playing middle C on either your left hand or your right hand. And then something kind of weird, you can see that there's um, above the C's, sometimes there's like a number that's circled. Um, like in measure two, there's a little two that has a circle around it. Um, that basically means that your second finger is now moving to play that note. So it won't be your thumb anymore, it's gonna be your second finger. And then it changes to be your third finger. And then your left hand does the exact same thing on the bottom line. So just make sure you recognize that um, because it's not just gonna consistently be your thumb playing it, it'll switch it up a little bit. So just remember when a number is circled, it means that your hand or that finger is moving to play in that position. The next page um, you'll see is just an easy treble clef um, song going between C and G. Um, I highly recommend that you label all of the notes at this point um, for a little bit so that you get a bit used to um, reading sheet music. Hopefully your um, teacher has introduced flashcards to you so that you can practice some flashcards. Um, hopefully I gave you flashcards if I'm your teacher um, because those are super helpful to like actually get yourself like remembering those acronyms um, and that kind of thing. So on the next page, we're just gonna be jumping into playing two notes at the same time. So when they're stacked on top of each other like that, it means that two notes are consistently being played at the exact same time. Um, so like you can see on page 38, you can see C and G is stacked on top of each other. So they're playing at the same time um, rather than one at a time. And then on page 39, you're playing the same song. It's just um, that your left hand is now playing things. Um, this is also like the third finger song. So it's like you're only playing your third finger. So make sure you get that correct on that page. And then our last two songs for um, this lesson is learning bass clef. So you're just going to be playing C and F for page 40. Um, and then 41 is basically adding all three of the notes that we learned in the lesson. Um, the main three notes that we played today was C, F, and G. Um, F was on your left hand and then C and G um, was played on your right hand and then both of your hands play middle C. So um, on page 41, it just basically like compiles all of that together in order to like reinforce what those different notes look like. So main things to remember is those acronyms that I taught you, um, label the notes if that helps you, practice flashcards a ton, and then remember when anything's written on the bottom, it means your left hand playing, and whenever it's written on the top, it means your right hand is playing it. A lot of students can get that confused off the bat, so if you really solidify that idea, it'll make it a lot easier in the future when we start learning really complicated music. Um, but yeah, so that was it for this lesson. We covered up until page 41 and we learned how to read sheet music and we also learned um, the dotted half note. So if you guys have any questions, let me know below and um, check out the next lesson where we're learning some other fun stuff and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!